Hey Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. I have a buck 110, some cinder blocks, and a baby sledge. And we're gonna find out exactly how tough this knife is. Guys, I'm really excited to do this video because I have a lot of fond memories of buck knives. Like a lot of you guys, a buck knife was my first real knife. So let me show you this brand new buck 110. Comes with this uh, leather sheath. And uh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Mmm, crisp, firm action on that. Just fits in the hand very nicely. It's a large pocket knife. One thing I really like about the Buck 110 is its classic look. You know, the brass and the wood handle. It seems like every single knife on the market nowadays is a tactical pocket knife. You know, I'm not a member of SEAL Team 6. I'm not going to be stabbing terrorists with this. I don't see a point in pretending it's a military weapon. Now, the Buck 110 is a lock blade pocket knife. You open it up and it clicks into place and then it's locked. It will not unfold until you hit the button there on the back. One way to judge the craftsmanship of a pocket knife is how much play there is in the blade. Um, in these buck knives, up and down, there is zero play. You cannot wiggle that at all. Side to side, just eh, ever so slightly, you can detect a little bit of play, but very, very little. This thing is put together extremely well. Now the buck knife comes straight from the factory, razor sharp. Look at this. Woo -hoo -hoo. Getting a little close to my fingers there. Ah, <laughs> oh, great, now I gotta go pick up all this paper. <laughs> Well, there's been a lot of yakety yak in this video. Now it's time to test how durable the Buck 110 really is. And the first thing we're gonna test is its ability to maintain a sharp edge. Now I already showed you how sharp it is coming out of the box. Let's see how well it can hold that edge. I'm gonna make a big pile of shavings here and then we're gonna do the paper test and see if it maintains that razor sharp edge. Cutting up these wood shavings was so easy with this knife. It absolutely chewed through this wood like a chainsaw. And now let's see how much of an edge it still has. Well guys, that knife is still razor sharp. And that's what buck knives are known for. Maintaining a sharp edge even under extreme abuse. And they do this by using high quality steel and then hardening it correctly, which can be quite complicated and time consuming. And these guys have got it down to a science. They've been doing this for over a hundred years. Well, we know the buck knife can hold an edge, but let's see how durable it is. All right, so we've got a number 10 can of garbanzo beans here, and I'm gonna demonstrate another common use for my favorite camp knives. You know, the can opener was invented 50 years after the invention of the tin can. So back then, if you wanted to open it up, you did it this way. There you go. Cut through the tin can like butter. All right, I got these chunks of cinder blocks here. Got my baby sledge. We're gonna find out exactly how tough this edge is. <laughs> Look at that. Let's see what else we can do. <laughs> Look at that. Got the sword and the stone here going. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at the top of the blade. There's no mushrooming, no dents, no major scratches from hitting it with a baby sledge. 
Well, that definitely put some nicks in the blade, but that was pretty awesome. That thing cut into a center block. The knife was literally stuck in the center block there for a little bit. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that definitely affected the sharpness. All right, let's split some kindling here. Okay. Oh, this is so bad to do with a pocket knife. Oh! Busted off the lock mechanism. That little piece of metal that goes right there just busted off. It's probably laying around down here somewhere. There we go. I gotta tell you, I'm really sad to see this knife get broken. This is a great knife. But I can tell you from years of experience breaking pocket knives that there are a couple really great ways to jack up a pocket knife. First off, holding it and trying to split wood by beating the back of it like you saw me do, that's not good. Most of the time if you're use smaller pieces of wood it won't break the metal but it'll get progressively more and more wiggle in the blade until it doesn't lock properly it wears down the locking mechanism really fast the second way it's you can break pocket knives very easily is by throwing them when I was a kid I did that with my first buck knife and I put that blade point first into the ground and there was a rock under there it hit that rock and broke off about a sixteenth of an inch off the tip of my knife. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you wanna see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every week. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every week. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll get notified when we put out another great video.